Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today I'm gonna be talking about do Russians actually drink a lot? I've been... I'm, I'm Russian myself. I've been in America for three years and, and counting. I've been in many countries around the world, so I can kind of get an idea of how people drink and like what part in their lives does alcohol take, okay? And uh, I'm gonna be talking about many, many concepts, many topics, many, many like angles of this thing. But I want to just break the stereotype of Russians drinking a lot because I feel like uh, whenever I'm in the US, you know, whenever we have a party and I don't drink or I don't drink vodka, for example, uh, they'd be like, why aren't you drinking vodka? You're Russian. Like, what's wrong with you? And then when I like, would, maybe if I drink maybe like a little bit, maybe a small cup of beer, I don't know, they'd be like, why so little? Why don't you just get maybe five more? You're Russian. Or uh, sometimes I see when, when Russians get, get drunk and maybe other people of other nations say, how are you drunk? Aren't you Russian? Don't you have like a tolerance to alcohol 100% when you can drink as, as much alcohol as you want and you're not going to get wasted? It's just not simply true, okay? So, number one, I want to say that Russians do drink a lot. On the other hand, we don't get wasted. We don't get completely drunk, completely, you know, knock out and don't remember anything. Of course, there are a lot of instances when that happens, but on average, I'm talking about the average. Uh, you know, when I, when I uh, come to the US, whenever there's a party with alcohol, it's going to be three huge bottles of, of, uh, of liquor, hard liquor, hard, like 40% whiskey or vodka. And a lot of the times, at least three like two or three people are completely drunk. They cannot walk, they cannot like, you know, function properly. And that does not happen here. Whenever we're drinking here, we know our limit. And most of the times, uh, whenever, we had hard, whenever we have hard liquor, it's not gonna be a lot of it. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be maybe like a bottle for a group of 10, I don't know, just a little bit, you know, we're not trying to get wasted. But, uh, wh where does this stereotype come, come from is when whenever we have a party, whenever get together friends, we sh like most likely we are going to have some sort of alcohol. Most of the times it's going to be beer or wine. Sometimes very rarely like hard liquor, maybe like whiskey, cognac or vodka, but it's very rare, very. In my two months, two and a half months of being here, I have never been to one party where, where there was liquor, never, only beer and wine, that's it, okay? In my two months, I've been together with my friends and nobody ever brought a whiskey, you know? Nobody ever brought a vodka. So it's very, it's extremely rare. But I think there, there is a problem with this, you know, at any party we, we, we must have alcohol. You know, whenever, whenever we're getting together, the question is always asked, what are we gonna drink? Always. It cannot just go without alcohol. I don't know why. Maybe just the culture of it. Maybe it's my circle of friends. I don't know. But yeah, we uh, we tend to have at least maybe like a little bit of beer, you know, when we're getting together. In America, on the other hand, you know, uh, people can say, oh, come over to watch a movie, uh, you know, eat popcorn and, and drink soda. Whenever that happens in Russia, we're gonna have like one beer, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's what I think the stereotype comes from. Whenever we are doing something together with, with friends, we are getting some sort of alcohol, okay? But not always, often, I would say often. But uh, the reason why we get it is because we're trying to relax. We're trying to, you know, be ourselves free, like let all this pressure off our shoulders and be free and talk, have conversation, interact with each other. When it comes to American parties, Whenever you're drinking, you're not talking. Music is loud, you're dancing, you do whatever, but not talk to each other. You don't have a conversation with each other. I never had one, maybe like two, in my three years of being there. Whenever there's a party, people are just not talking, they're playing games, playing card games, but they don't talk, they don't interact with each other. It's always like, um, you know, let's have fun, let's, do, let's get drunk type of parties. Okay, but there was, there was never like, you know, let's, let's get closer to each other type of thing. And I miss that, you know, being Russian, I miss that in America. And um, um, I want to say that even though I said before, people don't tend to drink uh, hard liquor, it's of my age. When it gets older, maybe like 30, 35, 40, yeah, there you will see less of beer and more of liquor. But again, it's in limited amounts, 
not too much. And of course, um, a lot of people just drink a lot, and it doesn't matter of their age, they're just drinkers. And yeah, there are many of those here in Russia. I must admit that Russians drink more than Americans for sure, for sure. But we we usually tend to you know control it better though. Uh, if we drink, if we feel like we we're getting drunk, all right, I'm going home. I'm going to sleep, for example. We don't get wasted and just party, hey, being crazy. That doesn't happen regularly, you know. Uh, in America, on the on other hand, it does. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was informative for you guys. I hope now you have a better idea of do Russians actually drink a lot. We do, but we drink it over a longer period of time. For example, we can have one beer over an hour instead of one beer, five minutes, just down it. We don't do that, but uh, yeah, we do drink a lot and we do drink often, but we drink less in one day or less in one hour than, for example, the best comparison I can give is America. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.